Hey guys, Zach Daddy here with a new video. This one's going to be about my two favorite aspects of Morrowind and why you should be playing this game if you haven't already. Now, Morrowind is a great game, the third installment of the Elder Scrolls series, and it really came to light because it was one of the best open world RPGs at the time and is still probably one of the best open world RPGs. Now, this is due, in my opinion, to two main factors. One, the magic system is amazing in this game. The complexity of it is crazy. And the second reason is just the scenery and world building of this game. It's breathtaking, and I'm going to show you why. Here we go. Now, magic in the game is really what stands out in the Elder Scrolls. The magic in this game is so in-depth and allows you to do so many things. You can shoot giant lightning balls like you're seeing right here, giant fireballs. You can do spells that combine all kinds of different effects. You can use a spell that makes you levitate as well as a spell of feather that makes you lighter so you're going faster. You have all kinds of increased attribute and increased stat spells that you can combine together. You have water walk, water breathe, fast swim, all kinds of things. And this is all due to this system right here, which is spell making. You can make your own spells based on the spells that you can buy from NPCs. So right here we have a, you know, bound helm, bound boots, bound bow. Now this is going to give us temporary Daedric armor and a temporary Daedric bow that we can use all in one spell because you can combine them into one and then I mean look at this it's it's so much more complex than anything in Oblivion or Skyrim and it really helps with the role playing in the game and adds so much to the complexity of Morrowind now the magic system was a little bit abusable and that's why I think they changed it in Oblivion and Skyrim because when you're proficient in magic in this game you can turn into a god. Um, you have damage spells that'll do crazy amounts of damage and you can enhance your attributes and skills to absurd levels that essentially make you a god and people are able to kill literal gods in this game like Vivek. So this, this is a really great point in the game that makes it so much fun that I would love to see a return to in the Elder Scrolls 6. This could honestly make the Elder Scrolls 6 one of my favorite games if they took, you know, staffs if they took the complexity of the magic from Morrowind and it, and imported it into a new a new game with better graphics and a better engine that really allowed it to flourish. Now right here we have a spell where you summon a bone walker and ancestral ghost together and you can do this with so so much more. You can summon golden saints, you can summon scamps, and you can have a spell that just summons just a whole posse. <laughs> a whole posse, a gang. And uh, it's really it's really a great system. And right here we're gonna be fighting a couple of <laughs> Balmora Guard, which is kinda describe some of the things in Morrowind like here we're using a levitate spell one that really helped you explore as mages there was all kinds of hidden nooks and crannies and dungeons that you couldn't get to without a levitate spell something that really I mean gives you just a ne the next level with magic it gives you these uses for it that really are are unaccessible without these spells and it's just something that you don't know that's there until you're using it and this is just a huge, a huge thing for this game. And it's one of the reasons I love it so much. I mean, here we've got a poison fireball that we're launching at the guards that's doing crazy amounts of damage. And uh, they want to kill us, but uh, unfortunately, they're chumps, so we kill them. So when you're talking about Morrowind, you have to talk about this setting. You have to talk about the architecture. You have to talk about the world building that Bethesda did for this game. Because this is one of the main reasons why Morrowind was such a hit. Because this world really was foreign. It really was its own. Each faction has its own type of architecture. They have mushrooms, giant mushrooms that grow out of the ground. And the Telvanni live in them. You have Imperials, which have their own architecture. You have the different, like, Redoran and Hlalu, and all their architecture varies pretty slightly. And it makes for 
a very interesting world building experience. Here you can see the Imperial style of building, which is the brick fort type style. Then you've got the Telvanni style, which is this really weird mushroom house, kind of like really fluid shapes, nothing rigid. It's this, it's, it's a type of architecture that really was built for this game. And I'm not sure what kind of inspiration they had, but the kind of things they did with this is what makes Morrowind such a great game. Because it's not like Skyrim, where it's really boring setting, where it's like, oh, okay, it's just, you know, those northern Europeaners, the Scandinavian type countries. No, this is its own thing. Like, this is like a tree mushroom house. Like, fluidity and nature. I mean, look at this. This door doesn't even have stairs because these places are built for mages. When mages can use levitate, there's no need for the stairs. So the, the architecture resembles that. It really was something that was was built without the need of like ease of access. Bethesda made this game and they made it to make sense in their own world. They did such great world building that their architecture reflects it. And that is seriously impressive. When you're when you're constructing houses for mages and they don't have stairs because mages just levitate all over the place. That is seriously impressive. So, those two reasons, I think, are the biggest factors in why Morrowind is such a great game. It really is one that if you haven't played, you need to. Because, I mean, these two make the game really fun. Just the world being so interesting, as well as the magic being so complex and fun. But also, there's so many more factors to this. There's so much more to explore. Plenty of very interesting side quests. The main story is one of the best narratives in an RPG. If you actually go through and read all the reasons of why you're doing things and listen to the characters and follow through on the story, it's really something that I feel like you will seriously enjoy if you haven't picked up this game yet. So, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for supporting me. And uh, as always, have a great day.